Now in its second season, the hit CBS sitcom How I Met Your Mother follows five friends in their 20s living and working in New York. Neil Patrick Harris plays Barney Stinson, a ladies' man, always looking for his next hookup. Well, tonight he's trying to spice things up for his buddy Marshall's bachelor party. I know you have some stuff planned for Marshall's bachelor party, but he really doesn't want strippers. Yes, he does. Uh, well, he told me he doesn't. Uh, well, he told me he does. When? Every minute of every day as his inner animal thrashes against the cage of his own puritanical upbringing. <laughs> or do you guys not like naked girls? Um, we love naked girls. They're one of the best things in the world. It goes, naked girls, democracy, the scene in Every Which Way But Loose where the monkey gives the guy the finger. <laughs> we just don't like your naked girls. <laughs> Neil Patrick Harris, good morning. Uh, good morning. Oh, the dialogue in the show is so great. Thanks. It must be so much fun to do. It is. I feel like a stand-up comic that never writes his own material. There you go. The but, but you deliver it so well. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh. Thanks. And why? Now, in this particular episode that we're going to see tonight, what's up with Marshall? Like, why doesn't he want the adult entertainment at the bachelor party? Well, Marshall and Lily have been a couple from, you know, way back when they met in college, and they've only been sweethearts since then. So they're very sort of puritanical in that, in mm -hmm. that way. And I'm just trying to mess things up. Just, just corrupt everybody. I want my single friends to go carousing all the time. So, And, you know, with pending nuptials, you've got to have the guy that wants the strippers and the big, Absolutely. the big party. There's always that guy. So right. I'm honored to be him. The fifth wheel on the show. Fifth wheel. Yeah, yeah I'll take that. I guess sort of. But we don't know much about your character. That's right? True. Besides the fact that he's a womanizer and always looks great. Dress is great. We don't even Thank do you, we. Hannah. You do. You always look so sharp. <laughs> is this a reflection look of your you. real personality? I mean, I'm a t-shirt and jeans guy to be oh, honest, but you? it's great because I just get to always wear suits everywhere I go now. Oh yeah, you got the rock and cufflinks on. You got, you got it. The whole yeah, yeah nice. the whole the Thanks. whole image. It's all coming together. Thanks. Now, we don't know much about what your character does, though, how True. he affords those suits and what he does for a living. We don't know much about him at all. So are we going to find out anything this season? I'm not sure. There's a little mm -hmm. sort of Star Wars, Darth Vader elements to Barney, you know? Mm. You, you, you're not quite sure what he does. It involves a lot of money because he's wealthy, mm -hmm. but you don't really talk about it. It's sort of the dark arts in some way. Mm -hmm. Maybe mm -hmm. tobacco lobbying. <laughs> I don't know, oil, I don't know. Something, something very, very dark Yeah, like but that. I think the less you know about him, mm -hmm. the better it is. Because you don't want to jump the shark too quick with yeah, the jump information. The shark. You know? He's got a little sensitive side, though, right? As we saw with Lily earlier this season. Yeah, he likes season? babies, right. which is weird. Uh -huh. His brother has ended up having a baby. Wayne Brady plays his brother. Mm -hmm. Will we ever see him settle down, do you think? Or uh, get a well, girlfriend, anything like that? Maybe no? season seven. Yeah, there you go. That's optimistic thinking. I like that. We're just about Keep to maybe start season three. So maybe season seven, he'll settle down. I know one of your favorite things, because you and I have worked together on the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Yes, we so did. We, you know, we got to really know a lot about each other. Yeah, we you love a lot. Yeah. You like game shows, don't I you? I love game shows. And actually, there's, a, there's an episode coming up where Barney, uh, Barney tracks down Bob Barker. He goes on a quest to find Bob Barker, and he goes down to The Price is Right and tries to become a contestant on the show to confront Mr. Barker with some uh, personal issues. He's, so we actually got to go film on the set of The Price is Right. Was that just nirvana for you? Was that just incredible? It was wicked fun, yeah. You know, this is Bob's last year, so it was kind of exciting just right. in, in an honoring him kind of way. But to be on that set, I assumed when I read the script that it would be some you know, mm -hmm. ragtag set that we put together on our soundstage. But right. we went to CBS Studios and, like, piggybacked the end of an actual episode. And you're so funny. You know all the strategy, all the tricks. Oh, yeah. Could you ever see yourself being a game show host? Seriously. I'd love I mean, to in, like, replace Bob Barker. I don't know. You, I, I, I'd love to be that guy. You would? Sure. And you've let everybody know this. You let the CBS brass. You're just going to... Well, it might Leave be a career job. killer, but it would be fun. <laughs> you want to be the next Bob Barker. I love I, I Well, it would, I think it would that. be fun for about six weeks. Yeah. You know? Right. It would be, like, exciting to hold that microphone, the long microphone, <laughs> and to do all the give games. Me a little, but I don't just know. give me a little game show. You as game. a game show host. Hannah Storm, you have 60 seconds to guess the price of this elliptical climber. <laughs> we'll begin when I say go. Ready, set, go. And we have to go to commercial. Ah, see? I was just getting into it. <laughs> Neil Patrick Harris is great to see you. Thanks, you You're too. the best. And the show is so great. Congratulations. Thanks, thanks. You can see How I Met Your Mother tonight and every Monday night at 8, 7 central right here on CBS.